going on top fence is Chris from CYB TV and I'm back after a week of not doing any videos and let's begin the postseason chats today's video is going to be a bit it's gonna be a bit informative I guess you could call it it's about our director of football Steve Walsh what is his job? What is he doing at the club? What is he doing now? What is he going to do to help us progress and really blow up in the football world? Well, as all of you know, Steve Walsh was practically the reason that Lester did anything last season. Do we still call it last season? I mean, this season just ended. So, is this season just ended last season? Well, you guys know what I mean. So, he brought in Riyad Mahrez. He brought in Angolo Conte. I'm pretty sure he was the reason that Jamie Vardy came to the club. Maybe. So, you know, he, he's got an eye for scouting out hidden gems. Hidden talent, you know? He, for us... He's brought in, well, he didn't bring in Tommy Davis, but he brought in Adam Lookman. Okay, we haven't seen too much of him yet, but we, I mean, his first start, scored a goal. Scored two, actually, in England's win against Costa Rica. So he, he clearly has an eye for talented, young, maybe even not young, but just talented footballers. Footballers who we may not see or we don't hear about because they're hidden gems. That's that's what he's going to be doing. His job as a director of football is yeah, to shorthand it, uh, you know, direct football, to direct all the all, all the off-field business that includes on-field business. I guess you know, yeah. He's going to be finding the talent, you know, even if there aren't hidden gems. He's just, he's going to be going out of his way and doing his own business. He's, I guess, different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. He really go. he, he does, if we go after big names like every other big club, we're going to probably lose out to that fight. So he's going after the the smaller names, the names that we don't really hear about too often. You know, unknown players who can help us. I mean, we, ha we have faith. We should have faith in him because he's already proven his talent for us, for Leicester, and wherever he's been before. So... He's he's really he's good at that. He's not superstar maybe. He's not a superstar scout or director. You know, that was uh Mochi who was at Sevilla who's now at Roma. He's the superstar scout that knew everything. But Steve Walsh is probably second to him because he he really knows his names. He he does his homework. He scouts. He has he has his own people that he sends out to go and handle those things. So in a way, he's a boss. He's a director uh, in our club. You know, he he he's not going to let anything really fall off. You know, he's not going to. You know, he's going to make sure that the names that he is ha he's given on this list are proper. You know, or people, or players, and personnel that will help us move forward. That is Steve Walsh, and I mean, we. It's I. I personally am not worried. What I am worried about is why, you know, nothing has really happened yet, and that's going to be another video. You know why hasn't why haven't we really done business? The only thing I've really heard about is Cuco Martina, which all of you know by now, is is 
probably going to be our first signing of the transfer window, which starts July 1st. <laughs> yeah, I think it's July 1st. So, he he's really going to be very important. And, and I hope that you know, it's it's gonna be a consistent thing. You know, I I ha I have my bits of worries because shopping around for players isn't isn't an easy thing. You know, because th there's so many chances that that player could fail. And I mean, yeah, yeah, he Steve Walsh has a knack for these type of things. But it's easy that, you know, it's easy for us to bring in somebody, right? It's easy for us to bring in the people, bring in the players. But it's also easy for it to kind of, you know, fold over and, and not work out. Example, Tottenham. They brought in, after they sold Gareth Bill, they brought in... They they brought in five players, maybe maybe even more. They brought in a good amount of players. They brought in Roberto Soldado. They brought in another striker. I, I forget who it was. They brought that's when they brought in Eric Lamella. They brought in Nasir Chadley. I believe that was the same season. They brought in Christian Eriksen. You know they brought in a good. They brought in a handful of players. Maybe two handfuls. And not all of them worked out. So if they don't have a Steve Walsh, yes, but it's it's just an example. You know, it's it's easy for us to bring in personnel. So Roberto Saldado, he he was good at Valencia, Premier League. He really only all his goals were really only penalties. So it's just easy, and you know, and at the same time, us as fans have to understand. Not every player is an immediate hit, an immediate impact. Christian Eriksen, his name has been around for years. Like he's a fantastic player. But he still had a bit of a learning curve because the Premier League is so much different than the Eredivisie or Eredivisie, whatever it's power was pronounced. Let's go with David, v uh, David Silva. David Silva... Same thing. I mean, maybe his impact was on the Premier League was a bit better, but still, learning curve. You know, it. it uh, now, an example of an immediate impact. Uh, uh, I was about to say Christian. Uh, Aguero. Why can't I even think of his first name? Sergio Aguero. He, his debut season, his debut match, I'm pretty sure he scored two goals. Two. And that's the super immediate impact. Same season, he scored the goal for for Man City to win the league. He, you know, he and he's he, pretty sure he got a an, a really good amount of goals that same season. Immediate impact. So, but that's that's a rare occasion. We just have to be patient. We have to be patient with whoever we bring in. Be it already, you know present Premier League player or somebody from abroad, I would personally say let's go for somebody abroad, but we'll see what happens. Now, Steve Walsh, I'm sure he's already busy, buzzing, and, and we all want to hear about what's going on with transfers, what's going on in general with Everton Football Club, but I'm sure, I'm sure that Without a doubt, there's you know things going on that we don't know about. But <laughs> to be honest, it's human nature to just kind of be impatient when you're excited about something. So I'm sure that, that Steve Walsh has his names. I'm sure his guys are, are doing as much business as possible, trying to you know really get a good look at these players and these names on whatever list that there is. So... Let's just be patient, boys and girls. Because soon enough, even though, yes, 
you know, we should be doing business now. We should hear more than Cuco Martina's name floating around. But we just have to be patient and just hope for the best, you know. So that's it. That's Steve Walsh in a nutshell. I'm sure there's way more information I could have thrown in, but that's what I know. That's what I've seen. So that's about it. And tell me what you guys think about this video. If you guys know more, let me know. This idea was suggested to me by a member of the Love Everton Forum. And yeah, you know, I always tell you guys, go check it out. Because there's plenty, plenty of members on there who are constantly surfing through the forums, talking about things. The transfer news goes up there. So go out, you guys go check it out. And if you join, shoot me an idea. If not, shoot me an idea in the comment section below. Um, let me know what you guys think of the video. Give me a thumbs up. And, yeah, thanks for all your support. Remember, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.